Well, we've got something better than a, a track. We've got some lions. Now, this is a pride of lions that we have never seen before, so I'm very excited. And we've been looking for them a few times. My name is Brent Leo Smith. I've got Dangerous Dave on camera, and we're with, wait for it, probably one of the strangest names for pride of lions you're ever going to hear, the Sausage Bride. Um, <laughs> actually named after a sausage tree. Well, there are three cubs, um, quite old cubs. Probably, I'd say, oof, probably seven, eight months old. And uh, you're not going to believe it, but there are three adult lionesses right in front of the car. <laughs> now, I'm just going to lead you, Davy. Okay. Yes. Okay, where's my finger now? There is a lion, if you can actually believe it. Now, that's how long all oh, the cubs on the move. That's how long the grass is. Now, look at that. That's an eight month old cub. That is a as soon as it lies down, it's going to disappear. We're very lucky to have spotted them on top of a, a little termite mound because they live in this really long grass area and they like eating warthogs, uh, which obviously can't see them coming in this grass. Remember, hashtag Safari Live if you've got any questions for us. Now, there are three adult lionesses here, and I think if we stick on that cub, he's probably going to one of the adult lionesses I haven't seen. I've only seen two so far, but I mean, look at that. Yes, it's one of the reasons you probably don't want to be bushwalking through grass this length. You won't be able to see who's out there. Now, two of these little, those youngsters look like young males. I'm just trying to double check now. Now, you can see why they're such a difficult pride to find because of that long grass, but they are absolutely gorgeous. Well, I must say most of the lions here are pretty pretty good looking. Not quite as good looking as Dangerous Dave, of course, but oh, aren't they cute? So fluffy. So it looks like the one at the back to me is a young male, but oof, it seems like he's starting to get a bit of a a bit of a mane growing, and the one that also walked off looked like a young male to me. So this is a new pride of lions for us and for you as well. This is the the first time we're seeing them. Now we've we we got told by Alfred, who's one of the uh, wardens in the conservancy, and you can see they're not the cubs aren't that used to people yet. It's taken us. Oh look at this! Heads up. Yeah, see, the cubs have panicked. Now, the females are used to cars. The cubs aren't quite used to cars yet, so that's why we're keeping our distance. And we've come very, very slowly towards them. And uh, they are, they're on the move. Now, because of this long grass, and these cubs have probably not had too much to do with vehicles. So we're just going very, very slowly with them. Um, now, there are another three adult females in this pride. So there's six adult females in total in this pride. And uh, as far as the information we've got so far, there were no cubs. So this could even be one of the first times these cubs are being seen. And that could be why they're so nervous. When the mom was with them on the termite mound, they were okay. Now, mom's not uh, nervous of, of the cars at all. But isn't this exciting? There's only proper wild, wild lions. Look at her looking back at us. So Robert is wondering, when do the, the cubs start hunting? Uh, normally at about two years old. I mean, at this age, they normally just make a mess of it and ruin hunts. Um, but normally they start hunting properly at about two, two years old, maybe as young as one and a half. Um, but two, two to three years old is where they really hone their skills. And this magic. And now there's something quite special about seeing lions a little bit nervous of a vehicle because it's, it, 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 it's wonderful to know that there are prides in places like that. And uh, of course we're going to be very, 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 very gentle with them and, and very cautious about how we drive around them. And especially so in this incredibly long grass. Lynn is wondering how long will the grass stay this high? Well, Lynn, till the wildebeest get here and flatten it. So, wildebeest uh, will actually this you're not going to recognise this large grassy plain in a few in a few short months. It's going to be very short grass. 
Now they, they look reasonably hungry. So I think we are going to stick with them. As I said, we're going to keep our distance. There we go. You can see there's mom coming up the turn. Oh, she's gorgeous. Ah, she's actually very hungry now that I can see her belly. Um, so she could be looking. Oh, look at her looking through the legs. Look, 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 look. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Uh, just keeping an eye on us through his mom's legs. Obviously, he feels much safer there. That is just magic. So they are quite hungry, so I think we are going to stick with them while they're moving, but we are going to keep our distance a little bit. So while we follow them, uh, let's jump across back to Juma. Well, yes, sorry about that, Brent. I called you James. I'm very sorry. I was too busy distracted with our tracks that we had. Now, it seems that the 